If you're checking out this video to decide if Baldur's Gate 3 is a game that you want to pick up, I cannot recommend this game highly enough. This is an incredible, incredible game, and its controller support is amazing. And that's what I want to walk you guys through today. You just saw me go from keyboard and mouse mode right into gamepad controller mode. My first praise of this game is how a movement feels. If you don't like the click and move mouse controls, like highly consider playing this game on a controller. There's a lot you can do with it. And it's the goal of this guide to really kind of break down the mystery, show you everything that is working and uh, really give you guys the best tools possible when stepping into the world of Baldur's Gate 3. So on that note, uh, this is here me using a, uh, you know, an Xbox, uh, you know, one uh, Elite Series 2 controller, but the game works great with the PS5 controller as well. I've tested it on it. The one thing I want to, you know, let you guys know if you're playing on PC with PS5 controllers is right now at the time of this recording, the buttons do not update to reflect the PS5 buttons as an option so if you're like hey i i want to know what the buttons and you know i want to see triangle square circle you're not going to have that on the pc at least at the time of this recording if that ever changes or there's an option i'll be sure to guys let you know but you can always go check out your controller options to get a quick overview of what each of these buttons do just by pressing the start button now what's great about this just as an option Pressing start, pressing Y will allow you to easily quick save. Pressing X will actually allow you to quick load. So you can easily time travel if you need to uh, in the game itself. And you can see your just general list of options here. But let's go ahead and break down exactly what you have uh, available to you as a controller player. Now, first things first, I want to point out pressing down on the right stick as a click, it will start to highlight anything and everything that you need and pressing, you know, like up and down on this will do your zoom in. So if you're wondering what you should loot and what you need to loot, you can actually just kind of hold this. If they ever give us options for remapping, note that I'll put out some additional comfort uh, mapping options for you, but that is something very important because as you're kind of running around, you might want to look around for things to be able to interact with and what you have looted and what you haven't looted. So again, you can see me just kind of running around. Things are going to pop up on screen to let me know that I can interact with them and that they might have loot or maybe I've already uh, you know looted those as well so that's just kind of the pro tip number one lots to go through here so let's go and break it down your left bumper and your right bumper buttons these are gonna be your action panes the beautiful thing about these is these are also fully customizable in this menu you can press X and you can actually add in a new or radial menu and just to like customize any of these options whenever you have a you know one selected you can press X again you can set swap or even clear or even in this case remove the radial menu and this is going to be driven by each character so if you want to add in new items you can do so you want to add in new skills and if you need more space you can continue to do so so this is going to be how you can kind of tell your character to do things now here's a pro tip one thing that kind of catches me off guard sometimes if you set it to a ranged attack well, not sometimes every time like you use a ranged attack let's say you want to use melee your default attack will end up being whatever like your last ranged or melee is so just be sure to kind of be popping into this menu uh during combat and we'll walk through a combat scenario here in just a little bit but that's how you get to your actions and that's how you fully customize these options pressing left trigger will bring up your party menu if you actually use the l click it will bring up that menu for the character you can bring up the character sheet and you can still swap between your characters here in this menu here's how you can manage your inventory here's how you can look at your uh, characteristics your reactions proficiencies and statistics as well so as you play and then this is also where you can easily go and equip the nice thing about it is, is it's going to tell you if you have various different options to choose from and you can just see if you have any new gear that you can rock and roll while playing and obviously that's something that's going to be very important as you continue to play the game to swap characters same thing you can press a and then you can see here now shadow heart is in charge of you know obviously leading the party in this case and going from there so on the right trigger in this case also brings up the same various menus so if i wanted to go ahead and do camp short rests turn-based mode my map alchemy obviously when you level up character sheet your spell book journal uh combat log and then it's back into the rest and go to camp and uh, have those various options same thing for the quick load and quick save listed here too so i think that's a good overview with a couple exceptions if you need to hide you can hold down 
the down button and that's going to put you into a hide mode so you can see how that's going to work now let's go see if we can find ourselves something to fight and i'll walk you through a combat scenario all right so now that we got ourselves into combat here you can move the left stick to really kind of peruse the battlefield to see what is going on a couple things obviously using the left bumper and right bumper will pull up your action menu pressing b will close this menu down uh, your first essential option obviously as you move will tell you where you can move now one of the things that's really great and one of the things you should try to focus in on is high ground has a massive amount of advantage uh, to you as the player so you can see here i've got some enemies kind of hidden uh, over here that are up top so if i essentially go into the zone it could be kind of dangerous for me so i need to kind of think about my strategy i've got some allies here that i cannot control and then obviously we have the various different enemies that i that i can attack with so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and risk it for the biscuit and move myself more into a range uh, to be able to attack with my rogue. Uh, with, and then we can kind of see here and try to pick on a couple different enemies, seeing what will be the best advantage uh, to me in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and attack him at 75. Now, I can still bring up left bumper, and if I wanted to try to use and apply a skill uh, to any of what I'm doing, I can have that as an option. But I'm already in a ranged attack, so we're going to go ahead and press A on the target and in this case getting them which is exactly what i was wanting now you still have bonus actions you can see that on the ui itself and if you want to then decide to use anything else you can do so but i'm going to go ahead and just call my turn by hitting the y button and letting it play out now one thing i like to do is using dash which will help me cover way more ground uh, and that will allow me to move much, much faster across the battlefield. So be sure to pay attention to those actions so that you can do some different things uh, easily. But obviously in this case, it then prevents me from using any other abilities on my character at that, at that time. Now, one thing you can also do while in combat is using your D-pad left and right to be able to toggle uh, between the various different targets that are around. This is going to be really good for you, especially if there's any kind of enemies that are hiding, uh, and then you won't be able to kind of necessarily see them right away. So be sure to kind of peruse with that. Again, don't forget you can hold down on the D-pad to go into hiding mode uh, and be able to take advantage of that as an option. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep on attacking in this case now since this character by default uses my my axe i'm gonna go ahead and use my ranged attack see if i can't start putting out some damage on some of these other guys right here he's close to death let's see if we can finish him off and we did all right one thing that i really like to do is lay down some grease and then light it on fire for some great aoe damage as a tip if you have uh the combos in this game are absolutely fantastic so be sure to try to utilize those every opportunity that you have now if there are still any questions that you guys have about playing this game with the controller please sound off in the comments below jump into the discord and maybe consider subscribing to the channel for more guides news and video game coverage my name has been brian this is ginger prime thank you so much for being here hopefully you had a good time with the video and hopefully i will see you in the next one but until then take care